Welcome back to the How to Belly Dance channel. I'm so glad you're here with me. If you weren't, then I would just be here standing in front of a camera. So thank you for being on the other end. I love it. We are gonna continue on our upper body work and we're gonna do that by working on our chest slide forward and our chest slide back. Now this is a drill move. I don't normally suggest it as an actual belly dancing move during a performance or anything, but it's a great, great drill to really help extend your chest slides and really get full range of motion with that in your chest circles. So, let's get started. So to do a chest slide to the forward point, you can check out this video and it'll break it down a little bit better. Um, if you're if you still have questions after watching this video so to do a chest slide to the forward position you're going to be using your internal obliques and this back muscle that surrounds your spine okay that's going to project your body forward outside of your center of gravity and your internal oblique is going to help keep that strong okay so that's going to push you to this forward position so this is the chest slide to the forward point. A chest reverse is going to be just that. The side view you can see, if I'm at a chest forward slide, a chest reverse is going to be pushing back into this backward position. Let me explain this a little bit crazy. Let's say you're out in the forest and you're really cold. So you go up to this tree and it's super warm, so you hug it. Now your body is super warm when touching the tree, but you notice that there's some sap dripping down. So as the sap is dripping down, you're going to try to push your chest outward to not get touched by the sap, but keeping in mind that your stomach is still nice and warm on the tree. So we're just in this out position, keeping you strong. This is what you're going to be doing essentially in your chest backward slide. We're in this backward chest slide position, focusing on the concaving of your chest, not concaving of your shoulders or your back going forward. We really wanna focus on just concaving the chest this way. Cool, making a nice little U or an arc if we do it like that. Cool. All right, so let's do some forward back movements with that forward point. I'm gonna go to a diagonal so you can see the range of motion. So we're here in our belly dance neutral position. Chest is going to go forward and back. Forward and back. Our hips are going to stay planted firmly in their belly dance position and our stomach is going to be strong with this internal oblique that we're just going to use the entire time. Okay, so we're going to press forward and press back and press forward and press back, creating sort of a rocking forward and a rocking back. Again, we're not tilting forward or teetering, we're using the opposite ends and pushing upwards so we can stay parallel to the ground. Another thing to remember, when you're using your arms, you're not gonna wanna use them to squeeze back. That's gonna hurt your back. Really focus on using that muscle that just surrounds that spine here to project your body forward, using that internal oblique muscle again to keep it controlled. And again, we're not just like pumping our chest out like this. This is a controlled move. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, and out. All right, let's just do this to some music and your body will really get a feel for what those feel like together. Side note, the song is called Fall in Love. Remember the tree story. Okay, belly dancing. Five, six, to the forward point. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Forward, notice how my hands 
are staying planted in their same position. Back, forward, back, and forward, back. Let me get you side angle so you can see. Back, forward, back, forward, back. Remember to stay strong in this move. That will protect your back. And back, forward, and back, forward, back, forward, back. Let's double this, okay? Are you ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Forward, back, forward, back. Stay controlled. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Remember that your knees are soft for this move. So you have a nice, nice, firm foundation, okay? Back, forward, back, forward, 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 back. Let's slow it down. Forward and back. Forward, this is a great, great drill to help with your flexibility in your chest. Not to mention the control in your stomach. Forward and back. Forward back. Keep it going. Back. Ready to double it again? Five, six, seven, eight. Forward. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Whoa, getting crazy. All right, finish out strong. Back, forward, back, forward, back. Whoo! I'm tired and feel like I'm about to puke. Don't know about you. But that's a good thing. When you know your stomach is just killing in knots because you've been working so hard on your belly dance, that's a great sign, my friend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad you're here with me on our belly dance channel. If you liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button and comment below any questions you have. In the meantime, let's get back to some belly dance. Belly dance up in here. Belly dance up in here.